In this video, we will review how to place a barrier on an alignment and I will start by referencing the geometry file using the coincident world attachment method. I will extend this window and hit the view to see the extents of my geometry. Next, I will add the bridge on this curve so I click on the add bridge button I won't make any changes in the bridge definition so I will just select the alignment and confirm the bridge name next I will place the support lines here I specify the span length and the number of support lines and when I enter the correct start station the end station will be determined automatically so I issue data points to confirm the information that I provided. And next I will be placing the deck on the support lines that I just created. So initially the deck will the edges of the deck will follow the reference curve. But in the next step I will define a complex geometry for one side of the deck to follow and to do that I go to the civil tab and under standards I enable the featured definition toggle bar here I will set the featured definitions for the line elements that I will create I pick geom temp and I lock it in I also enable the chain commands tool and using the line between points command I will start creating the lines that will represent the right edge of the deck so here I want to make sure that the barrier alignment remains within the deck limits and the chain commands tool allows me to draw these lines continuously otherwise I would need to specify the start point each time I draw a new line so next I will be converting these lines into a complex geometry and for that I will use the complex by element tool. I pick the first line, the second line, I issue a data point and right click to end the command. Now I need this complex geometry definition to be able to reference this as a horizontal path for the deck edge to follow and to do that I click on properties then to point control and since I'm dealing with the right side of the deck I want to change the direction for P1 so I change direction from none to horizontal then I will hit select the issue a data point on the alignment and click apply and my deck definition is modified the next step is creating the alignment that the right barrier will follow I start with the horizontal geometry and use the single offset partial tool to create an arc I will reference the bridge alignment specify an offset and mark the start and end points and my arc is created I also need a vertical geometry to be able to assign this to the barrier and to create the vertical geometry I will generate a surface using the deck elevation information so I click on reports and drawings then select deck and the deck elevation report will come up after I pick the start and end lines here I change the report type to X Y and Z I pick normal to alignment transversal lines and I set the spacing to 2 feet I want to include the alignment the left and right edges of the deck and I click generate I will export the generated report to Excel so I pick the XLS file I save the file and now the report will open in Excel 
This file contains some text that needs to be removed before moving on to the next stage. So I start by deleting the first column. I don't need the point of interest information. And the next step is getting rid of black rows. So I go to find and select, then go to special. I pick blanks and I hit OK. And all blank rows in the file will be selected. So I go up and click delete sheet rows so I consolidated the XYZ information that I have for the deck and now I will save it in a different format so I go to file save as and I pick CSV as the extension I will close this window so this one and now I'm ready to define the terrain using the file that I just created. So I go to the Civil tab and click on Create Terrain Model from ASCII file. Here I pick the file with the CSV extension. And I will keep the feature definition has existing contour and I will start defining the text import settings so the first line to import is the second line the decimal separator is comma for the feature type I will pick spot and the column delimiters is comma for X I change to easting for Y norting and for Z elevation I click next, next again and I finish. I will save this XML file and now I click import and my terrain is defined. Now I can use the terrain to create a profile for my barrier alignment. To do that, I click on my complex geometry, then open profile model, pick a view and issue a data point. Here I will use the quick profile from surface tool. I will locate the reference surface, right click, then locate the reference element, right click again. And now my vertical geometry is defined, but it's not assigned to the arc yet, so I will hover my mouse over the arc and it says no active profile, so I click on the profile and set as active profile. So now the complex geometry also has a profile assigned to it. And that means I am ready to define my barrier with this alignment. So I go to Home tab. First I will open a second view to see the changes in 3D as well. Now I will click on Place Barrier to create my right barrier the template name is correct so I will select the deck right click issue a data point here I will select alignment then I will issue another data point on my alignment and click OK and my barrier will be created and it is following a different path from the edge of the deck. Here I use simple line elements to define the deck edge but more complex geometries can be created using lines, arcs, spirals that are available under the civil tab and this is the final result.